Whenever I get approached to do anything, I um, obviously, you know, when you get the script, for me it's like just how quickly I read that script is a big indication of how much I enjoy it. So when I first got Journey Browned, I couldn't put it down, I really did kind of like, um, you know, <laughs> a scam read it and then I went back and read it again, you know. So for me it's just great when I get something though that I can really identify with that you know, I, you know, I laughed out loud, I got all the characters, I liked the detail of the characters. It was, um, it was an easy read. Quite often when I get a script, I, um, I don't print out the last 10 pages um, until I've read you know, what comes before. And an indication of how enthusiastic I am about the script is how desperate I am to get to a printer to print out that last, the last 10 pages so I can find out what happens. <laughs> and with Journey Bound, I was like, I need to know what happens, what happens? So it was a very, very good thing. As I've matured, shall we say, in life, I've gotten the opportunity to play a lot of mums. And, you know, quite often people say to me, how do you feel about that, Claire? And I go, well, you know, it, it, it's been great because you get to play real characters. And I suppose, you know, I identify with them all because I guess people see me as in a slightly quirky mode. And, um, you know, the mum in this is definitely a bit out there and I love that. And I think there's lots of room to play with it. Lots and lots of room to play with it. But the most important thing is making her credible and making her real. And one of the things that I love about people that are enthusiastic about um, anything in life, be it yoga, Buddhist chanting, you know, they're so believable and I think the thing with the mum in this is you've got to absolutely buy into the fact that she really is that person and that will be a bit of a challenge and no matter what, it doesn't matter if you're on, you know, every scene or, you know, or not, you've just got to bring that realism to that crazy person and that is really, really tricky, <laughs> but um, I'll be giving it my best shot. Why would you go and see Journey Bound? Because I think it's going to be very similar to a lot of films that start off quite, quite without much, um, what do you call it, um, expectation. In the nicest possible way, they're probably, but what happens, just that kind of word of mouth thing happens and it grows and it grows and it grows. And, you know, when you don't have that huge, big marketing American machine behind you, you have to be clever. You have to work on the sort of grassroots level of it and just, you know, and th that's the great thing about social media now that you can reach a huge number of people and go, this is a great movie to, you know, first date movie, you know, family movie, whatever, you know, this is a, a film that lots of people will enjoy. They just need to take the plunge with it.